and hello everybody welcome back you sexy people welcome back to frostpunk we have now day 15 upon us and the machine shop is also being finished and also the factory inspectorate where we actually do need engineers so we are going for the engineer path and engineers have now to supervise the workplaces there and of course my workers will not like that completely but well what can you do about it right now we do have um 20 workers assigned to the profiles manufacturer let's half that because we don't need that many structural profiles there all the time and let's have 10 of them at the machine shop where we produce steam exchanges for 20 steel each that's quite a lot actually we can afford a few of them but not all of them and those steam exchanges let's have a look we do need install the pressure valves and install the power pumps now for that we'll need pressure valves we do need 10 structural profiles and for the tower pumps we do need 10 steam exchangers and that means 10 of them let's start with five we can afford that and the workforce that i freed up though Let's also have a few of them, actually let's have all of them in the gathering post here for the second steel um, pile here that we have now. So we have two steel piles um, working here from the upgraded docks because the upgraded docks can have two of them and now they can work on that. So that's compensating again with the steel com consumption that I have from this one here now. But I can already see that we'll need lots of resources in the future, you know, because those demands are only going to go up from here and we'll definitely have to well have more of that so i have two gathering posts here now working on that that should be enough that's almost 10 steel per hour at the moment and i can also oh yes i could also i just wanted to say um extend the shifts there but of course that is a broken promise now so that's my mistake here totally but well we just have a bit more discontent now holy moly i was so i was so stupid right now so we we just broke the promise there shouldn't be a big deal though you know since my our stats are really good at the moment motivation is still at three bars so still 30 percent efficiency there no problem so far we have eight people being treated right now and one amputee i'm a bit surprised at that and that's certainly not good now let's have a look we need to research something new and hmm, charcoal kiln we we are looking good on coal right now so we still have that reloading station is interesting for the piles at the docks so it's more effective i guess than gathering posts but the thing is it does cost me a steam core so i'm not doing that right now the higher tier 4 well might be researchable right now uh, as far as i can see but let's have a look at the other things that we have here so food and health um, health we, we could go for the infirmary there um, this will certainly help and not have the tents there anymore the medical tents and I'm actually inclined to go this way we could have more improvements here for the generator then let's have that later I want to have the infirmary since one infirmary might take care of all my sick then in the future end of the DC and the disease a group of our people decries your decision to carry on forced medical examinations of prostitutes you punish the victims of a vice and the man guilty both of the vice and the suffering of these women go unpunished this has to end shut down the house of pleasure no we can't afford that and it's just a minor punishment there and discontent as well but i should be careful here with the discontent you know let's use the chapel to increase motivation again a bit um, but I should be really careful here. This content does look a bit high there to me. And what I can see is, oh yeah, huge coal pile here has been depleted. This gathering post can go now. So we only have one gathering post again. And this will certainly not look good on my coal balance. So we already have the next research goal, which is the charcoal kiln. Because I can't see anything else that we could go for here. And also the steam sawmill here and this one here this one here at least runs out of wood soon even though we are quite capped on wood so far that's a good thing though but still i'm a bit worried about my coal production in the future my future coal production we still need three structural profiles let's build them three of them and here we are still producing these steam exchangers this is unhealthy so let's improve the safety regulations here also this one here and that should be fine so far. We have the ventilation system. Do we need to do something else here? It's on, it's working, it's improving, right? 
yeah, ventilation plants is improving the safety of all those workplaces in the middle there. That shouldn't be a problem. And one of our foragers has depleted the hunting grounds in this case. So we do need to continue. And let's continue to the small waterfall. The rapidly flowing stream cut a deep rabbit through the plains. We can see a small waterfall in this distance. Let's go for this. It's going more into the frost lands here. And over here we have not the nature sculpture. So if you remember, one of the other camps that was set up... Um, collapsed so we need to find out what happened there and for that i will need a second forager and we just researched that there we have the forager quarters and we can just build it where did i build the first one over here that's the first one right yeah that's the first one was hard to recognize now so let's have the second one here right away both of them are now kind of here in the middle uh, perhaps a bit too central i don't know we'll see that how it turns out and the second team then will go for that. Now, this one here is finished, so we can actually put it down again, the steam sawmill. Unfortunately, there is no working area like in other games, so we can't um, set working areas. Rather, we have to dismantle the building and build it again, steam sawmill. And over here, we still have some forest. We would also have some forest here. a bit problematic in my case that we are really destroying all the trees but well you know um ice age is coming anyway so there won't be much uh, many trees left soon anymore anyway so let's take those last remains of nature that are still intact but soon it's going to be so cold that even those trees will not survive anymore so it's okay to <laughs> cut them down now it is day 15, the end of it. We are still producing everything good, but we are consuming also quite a lot of our goods here right now. Those two will continue working tomorrow. Here we have now the factory inspector. Now, what could I do with you? Let's increase the working hours on that. And let's put down this medical no yeah let's have those two working now here in the factory inspector as you can see this is now um with two only we only have one building here if i increase the engineers working here we will have more buildings then and this one is now yeah yeah this one is now increasing the work safety of the building here so hopefully it's then also increasing it of this one here at some point the shaft structure they can work there now but actually i will say i will say no to that for now and rather use the engineers in the medical post oh we actually have three engineers working in the cookhouse that is a waste well, let's use them rather on the medical post here as well and soon we can replace it then with an infirmary that we can have there right and let's use the food boost on this one here and on this one here so we treat them more quickly very good so far we can also use we can also fill those fisher docks up here again and we have reached the small waterfall nothing here but more areas so the rapids up ahead the stream goes over a series of rapids at the bottom of a deep gorge or a tall rock arch tower above the northern plains Let's go for the rapids. Let's go to the east here and see what's what's lurking over there. Who knows? I'm really excited of what we find everywhere, you know. This content went down there a bit. Also, really good that our bathhouse is working so fine. Even though, yeah, my coal is not looking good. Right, this one here, we can have... How many more do we need, actually? six we have now infirmary has been researched very good and now we go for the charcoal kiln there right away unfortunately we need to we need to burn those trees that we cut down and the infirmary is now active so i want to have it here so in this case we'll just get rid of both medical posts now we do have one sick that's okay rather do it now than when we have 10 sick if we ever have that many i don't intend to tell you that both of them are gone, very good, and let's have the infirmary in this area here now.
right? And five engineers should be fine and working on it. And the infirmary is a really efficient building when it comes to treating the sick. So very important building coming up now. This one's finished as far as I can see. Let's have a look at that. We do have now the 10 here, very good. The structural profiles and we still need then one more as well. Right, yes, that should be fine for now. Actually, let's have more workers on this one here. And the infirmary is up and running. Let's assign five workers, uh, five en engineers to it. And now I can also assign five here to the factory inspectorate. And now we can also have the machine shop here being a safe workspace. Very good. That's exactly where we want to have it. And we also have a new law that we could sign here now with the engineer tree. Internal promotion, competent loyal workers can be promoted to higher, more responsible posts. Internal promotes, promotes five workers to engineers. That is really cool. Overseers, overseer station raise efficiency nearby workplaces by 15%. Let's have the, oh, that's, Huh, that's a difficult one now. What now? I mean, sooner or later we'll have both anyway. Let's go for internal promotion now. Raises my motivation now once again. And we can now... We can now promote... Workers. Just... I don't... I just, I just don't know where. Where is... Is there a button now for that? Bonus. An engineer from the factory inspectorate comes to talk to you. I have great news, boss. To celebrate the opening of our inspectorate, the company sent us a shipment of fine tobacco. It's a rare delight in these times. Wouldn't it be nice to share it with the workers? Yeah, great idea. Let's do that. That's more important than 10% efficiency. Right? Charcoal kiln? Have we researched that? No, it's, it's coming up now. Very good. We do need it. Because coal is going down. There it is. And we also have now this sawmill over here, but we're capped on wood for now anyway. Let's just have this one here. And I think I will want to place it over here where the ocean is. I don't know why. Certainly not here, because perhaps we get some smog or something like that. And let's just have it far away actually from the rest of the camp, because it's a dirty building. And we already have some streets here, so why not just have it here then? Right, so there we have that, and this will then continue or helping us uh, producing coals. We could also go for charcoal kilns upgrade here. I think that's a good idea. 33% more coal. Safety improvements. Innovative process. Irrational production. Ah, reduces the deal costs. Yeah, let's do that. Because I will need way more of them in the future. And I still wonder where I could... Oh, there I can do it. Internal promotion. It costs me 50 wood and steel. And would um, get me five more engineers. Okay, that's that's worth a thought in the future. And logistic limit reached. Sir, we have reached the upper limit of logistic capa uh, cap capability allocated to us by the company. We should use it. Yes, place an order. Oh, yep. You can see. We could actually go to 60 workers now. Do we need that many? I don't think so. Let's have some steam cores. Two of them. Very good. And then let's just also get five more engineers and max 30 yeah 30 workers there um hopefully that's not too much we do have a good food production for now actually we don't i need to increase the working hours here of the harbor and can we have an additional one yes over here we can have one more fishing harbor they don't need a street connection that's pretty good people just go over over the water there <laughs> they can just go in there and yeah hopefully produce us some more raw goods the rapids let's have a look nothing here once again 
Mountain Lake. Let's go for that. That's quite far away now. And yeah, I've also built, by the way, the Forge Quarters. So let's have another team of um, Foragers. So actually, we already consumed 15 workers with that already. And let's get over here to Nature Sculpture. So I have two teams now working on the map. And not that many workers then anymore. And we still need to produce a bit here, I think. Oh yeah, we're still ahead of schedule, but we should hurry up with those guys here. Right, day 16 comes to an end. It's day 17 now, still no temperature drop so far, but toxic gases will go up now. The As we can see now here, we can see toxic gases everywhere here, so... It's unhealthy to work there now. Right, and over here we can have now... Let's say five people for now working in the charcoal kiln. And five workers here at the steam sawmill. Now we can go for the next law, which would be the overseers, but they consume en engineers. You will have to build two overseer stations. Overseer stations raise discontent in nearby workplaces and increases motivation, but also the strike risk. Dispensary. New building, dispensary. Cures gravely ill to ill with potent chemical medic medicines. You will have to build a dispensary and treatment can have side effects. Well, why not? We don't have any gravely ill though at the moment. I don't want to have the overseers for now. Okay, now we have 10. So we just need to wait now until it's finished and we also got... Oh, yeah, I should probably reduce that again to zero and now build them because now they're cheaper. Yeah, so now we saved a bit of steel there. I just got this one here and yeah we should also increase the uh, safety improvements here for my profiles manufacturer and for the machines shop especially we can do that one by one however and let's have a look real quick also at my economy there for my coal so we are producing now enough coal very good but this will definitely reduce my wood income even though yeah boss it's still very positive here so we now consume 70 per day, is that right? Might be right, but we still have a huge surplus there. That might be right, actually. Very good. Now, both of them are at their destination. Let's have a look at this first. Good fishing spot, even from the shore we can see shoals of fish roaming the lake. We could stay here for a few days and catch them. Let's do that. Let's set up camp. And now we get raw food from this camp here for eight days. Very good. And then we could continue. And on the other side over here, let's have a look at him. Nothing, okay. Just a field kitchen. We can see something that looks like a field kitchen among rocks over there. Let's go over there. Four more, very good. And we now have the fishing docks over here, so let's assign some workers to that. And actually, let's assign all of them to it. So it's almost full there. Yep, because we do need that. We are really not producing that much at the moment. It's barely enough, you know. Like, this is... It's looking good at the moment, but the population, of course, is growing. And, yeah. We do, however, have the hearty meal here. So we could go back to standard meal. And then reproduce more. If I click on that now, let's have a look. Yeah, much bigger now. So for the moment, we can keep the hardy meal, but we probably will have to go down on that. Supervision. So the factory inspectors report that we need to introduce constant supervision in order to speed up work. The old methods are not good enough. We have seen enough cases of wastefulness and inefficiency to convince us that all employees would benefit from direct supervision by engineers. If you put us in charge, motivation will rise and efficiency with it. I'll think about it. Otherwise, we would have to go with a new law there. Which I don't want to at this point. And steel is really full here now. Yep. So I don't need that many workers there. Rather assign them to the fishing docks. And this one's done as well. Bye-bye sawmill. We will need a new one. 
Let's assign a few more here to that sawmill there. Right, and also to the gathering post. Very good. And we will also need more tents though because... Yeah, there are a lot of people coming in. So more tents here. And the thing is, we will need a new bathhouse here then as well. We have one over there already. So one here. Might be reasonable here, right? So we have this whole district then in it. Yeah, and we can also take those tents here that have not a bathhouse yet. The thing is, of course, here it would make more sense, but I don't want to go over here now with my tents. This is just as fine. We can have two full rows there. But on the extreme difficulty, I would probably move over this area here with my town then, because there is much more space here. Right. Let's just stick with that now. We have a little spot here in the middle now. Perhaps we can have an ornament there at some point. And let's have more tents here then. Around it. Very good. So a new district will be born from this one here. And there is the safety improvements for the machine shop. So this one's now perfectly safe despite the toxic gases. But they're going up one more step to the highest level down the next day. This kind of replaces a bit the uh, temperature, by the way. So instead of temperatures ups and downs, we have the toxic gases at the moment. But I'm pretty sure temperatures will drop at some point. And yeah, we have finished this one here. So build the foundation. I do have now the materials, but how can I build it? Transport has arrived as well with all the new people there. We're building the tents for them right now. And I can also use a few more engineers now. For example, here. To make it 10. Actually, that's not much use. Let's also have the safety improvements for the profiles manufacturer. Do I need to build a foundry perhaps? I haven't done that yet. Install the pressure valves. I'm a bit at a loss here at what I should do now because we now have finished the construction of those materials. And how am I constructing it now? Do I need to wait until this is over perhaps? 14 hours. Install the pressure valves, install the tower pumps. Hmm, that's a good question. How do I construct it actually? I do have it now. How did I finish this one here? Oh, oh, I'm stupid. Of course, yep, yeah, there it is. It's in the building menu, obviously. So here we have the tower pumps. And as we can see, now we can build it here. And let's assign 50 workers to that. Also safety procedures on. And what I just realized is that this could actually mess up now our schedule. So we are definitely coming close now. So we should have started with that. Oh my goodness, yes. We should have started with that a long time ago. Right, right. Let's increase the work hours here from 6 to 20. We need to do that. 6 to 20 o'clock. And this one here is so dangerous. Okay, tower pumps. Now we can go from deadly to dangerous. Yeah, this is not looking good though. I messed up here a bit now, so we are, I think, coming closer to the schedule there. I don't know why we have such a bad stat here though now, so I can't have them working here at the moment. It's too dangerous. Field kitchen, there's nothing over here. Let's continue now to site 107 then, where this is the this must be the ill-fated generator construction site number 107 we were told about. 
Let's go for this one there and find out what happened there. Um, other than that, I will need to think about a way here. Structural profiles to install lightweight uh, protective improve for... Okay, so we do need structural profiles here. Quite a lot of them. So six of them. So we can work one more day on this one here. And I'm also going to have the steam sawmill working here now. This is getting a bit close now. So we are totally out of wood there for the moment. And I did not expect it to escalate that quickly now. We have to continue here in the next episode with those tower pumps and find out what happened to the generator 107. Stay tuned.